Here's an update on progress towards our next generation of software from SDR Play. We're introducing SDR Connect, which is in fact a complete rewrite of SDR Uno. And here we're demonstrating for you the underlying core DSP technology behind it. A complete rewrite of SDR Uno was needed to achieve our goal of multi-platform capability. So much so that we decided that the new software would have to have a new name. It will now be known as SDR Connect. Don't worry if you prefer the older version of SDR Uno because we'll continue to support the later versions for the foreseeable future. As I say, it'll be cross-platform and it will run on x86, ARM, Mac OS, Linux, Windows and Android. In addition, we are adding new remote server and client capability, which will also work cross-platform. And this will allow you to access your RSP from anywhere, either on your home LAN or across the internet. The GUI is being completely rewritten to make it much more consistent than SDR Uno and much more intuitive and easy to use. It will include the much requested feature of the ability to lock panels together. SDR Connect is compatible with all the current RSPs, the 1A, the DX and the Duo. As well, it will continue to be compatible with the RSP2 and the RSP2 Pro, which have now been discontinued. However, due to hardware limitations, it is not possible to support the RSP1 in SDR Connect. In today's demo, we're looking at the core underlying technology behind SDR Connect. The DSP engine has been totally rewritten to make it cross-platform and indeed we'll be demonstrating it running under Linux on a Raspberry Pi. In addition, we'll be showing network capability across the internet. I must stress that this demonstration is just of the core technology. The new graphical user interface, which will retain the style and popular features of SDR Uno, along with this much more improved, consistent and easy to use interface, is still under development. So today's demonstration is truly global. We are running the SDR Connect client native on Linux here in Friedrichshafen, and we're connecting to an SDR Connect server with an RSPDX located back in the UK. Here we see the main spectrum and waterfall displays. In the upper half of the screen, we see the main spectrum. And in the lower half of the screen, we see the auxiliary spectrum. As well as the familiar controls for tuning, there'll be additional capabilities. You'll be able to right mouse click to toggle between full AM, upper sideband, lower sideband and CW for popular filter settings. Here we are on 40 meters, so we want to be on lower sideband. Now let's take a look at Longwave. Radio 4 on 198 kilohertz is a unique station in the UK and here we are tuning into it. Once again I'd like to emphasize we're just showing the core DSP functionality of SDR Connect. 
Getting this thing completed has been a great achievement towards our goal of a true multi-platform solution. The software team is now working on wrapping up the GUI to go around it and to reintroduce some of the other features that you're familiar with and desire to have in this exciting new piece of software. So to recap, right here is the core DSP engine of SDR Connect running on a Raspberry Pi. In addition, we've also demonstrated networking capabilities by being connected to a remote RSP located in the UK. So the big question is, when could you get hold of SDR Connect? Well, we're on track for release by the end of 2022. For ongoing news and updates, go to www.sdrplay.com.